All right, before we begin, I just want to say what's up. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. The support on these hour plus videos means a lot to me. Never done anything like this before. Maybe I try it on other games, but I feel like if I know what game's gonna be a long journey, this is the way to try it, you know? So, all right, love you all. If you want more of this game each day or just when I can, upload it. Let's keep it up. I love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. No. Oh, where's Jill? There's talk that the glass gate flood has finally sprinted. All right, let's get this. Keep them pilgers nice and chilled. I won't have you spoiled. There she is. Here we go. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Up. You'll not find a Alright, getting some garlic. Here we go. What can I interest you in today? I actually I haven't used a lot of the vendors in this yes. game besides like the main one back at the hideaway. <laughs> Nothing else. These are all things I could sell. All right. Always welcome here in Lost Wing. I was actually just curious how much they go for. It's not really worth selling them, I feel like. At least not right now. Buy, sell, or be gone. Thanks for nothing. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Uh, looks like we handle everything. There we go. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Alive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you, Clive.
Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. I felt like this quest was very... I mean, straight to the point, obviously, but it felt like a lot of it could have just happened during, like, cutscenes, I feel like. But, it, you know, it's something to do, at least. All right, here we go. Back to the hideaway. Okay. Kind of wondering what's going to happen next after this is finished, because I'm assuming this is the last thing we need. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. You know, one thing I haven't checked out in a while is my icons and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. I know I got a lot of points. All right, journal. That's what we're doing right now. As far as items go, I mean... I don't really know what would be more beneficial. I use this just to kind of... Oh, and I didn't use strength on it before. Defense 30% for 90 seconds. That's actually a lot. All right. Uh, gear and icons. I just wanted to see. I think everything is actually the highest it could... Wait. We got something new here. Lightning Rod, damage by 9%, Thunderstorm by 10, Upheaval by 8. I'm kind of wondering about this. I've used the same, I feel like I've used the exact same ones for the longest time. You know? Yeah, I really want to try out other stuff, but I don't want to, like, waste my ability points because I know that if I get something else, I'll want the main ability, kind of like these, and I don't want to spend 25, 25 to upgrade for how much more damage, really. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hold on to these. I'm good. Now, if I get like in a corner with a boss and I just can't, my voice is cracking, and I can't defeat the boss, then yeah, I may try them then. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill. Would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other, followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. All right, quest complete. Let's get so much we get for that. 400 XP. All right, then. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news, then. I almost feel like Mid should have been in the conversation while we were there, you know? So I tried playing on frame rates versus... I guess like the quality mode or whatever it's called. It's like performance and then you got quality. Quality is like 30 FPS but a higher resolution, but I can't really tell a difference. Performance, I mean, it makes it a lot smoother, but I don't think it's still a 60 frame game. Sometimes it feels like it, sometimes it doesn't. I think overall the game is really well designed and there's a lot going on too. You can really tell the set pieces with like the, like the Titan boss. Titan Lost was one of my favorite boss fights, like, ever. I loved it so much. All right, here's Mid. Here we go. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. 
In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo -dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. <laughs> everyone that's one down and just three more to go i'm sorry oh didn't i tell you the enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each you don't mean <laughs> don't worry now they've got a finished one to work off my gang in canva can build the rest good luck to them i say right i'm off to get a sling for this elbow any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Report back to mid. We finished it. Now speak with mid. Here we go. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the Blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, going back to Otto. Here we go. Let me, hold on, let me check this one more time because we just got an increase. 
on this in like the last oh, mission, I think. Uh, all right, we got oh the cleric's medallion. Here what does this are. even do? Best of luck out there, Sid. Let's take a look. Forty percent. All right, I didn't think it was gonna. You know, I didn't realize it was the same name when I saw it was green. I didn't. I didn't. It didn't like dawn on me that hey, this is the one. Okay, so you can get. Now I'm wondering if I get like a badge of might with. Let me just make sure I don't have one that's already better. Definitely gonna keep the other one on. Yeah. I think Flames Rebirth is really nice because it heals you, but it also. I mean, it has a very, very long cooldown, so that helps out a lot. All right. All right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finished sending half the Idaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl would do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. All right, make for the four deck. Here we go. Is that the thing Tom's helped? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? A request for assistance. Let's see. Feel free to pause it if you need to. I would read out loud, but I hated getting picked on in school by the teacher. <laughs> Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset. It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. All right, here we go. Sid's legacy.
well, Sid. I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. doing before ready enough to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> Wait, you're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <sighs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Buck, lad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Mm -hmm. 
Man, a lot just happened right there. Visiting Sin... I mean, the whole thing was just, like, really well done. All right. We could go back to the hideaway, but I don't think we really need to right now. Let's go ahead and head here. See what we got. All right, first time being in control in about, what, seven minutes or so? <laughs> All right, onward. Here we you? go. Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Togo helped too. The new boy. I'm kind of wondering, does she... Oh, she's on one too. Okay. Like I was like, wait. how's this going to work? I thought she'd hop on the same one I'm on, but I, I guess not. Is there even enough this room for that? Looks like there's Merchants another seat back there, kind of. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Really happy Jill's with us. She's my favorite character in the game right now. Unless something happens, she's it. You know what? Let's fight. Wait a minute. Thanks, girl. It's like we haven't had a nice battle in a while. We had all the Aryans we ran, and then... Woo, big damage. Two ten XP. Let's get it. This is one of those games that I'll probably keep on my uh, PS5. Probably until PS6 drops. So what do you think? Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Uh, might as well. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Botclad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Here's why I got that quest, right? Anytime we see one on the way to where we're actually going. Yeah, it's right up here. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Alright, slay the enemies. Here we go. 
How y'all doing? Just beyond that, it's... I just realized the I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be stopping in the red or the, uh, the yellow in that. I'm just always stopping in the red, I think. All right. Stagger time and... Big damage, big damage, big damage. Second time. Target. Ow. Oh, let me see something. Nice and the combat in this game is just so satisfying. The worst thing I could have done after that. That did so much. I think it went through that enemy a little bit. On to the other one. Alright, 720. To be precise. That's them dealt with. Now, where's that card? All right, it's right here. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? That was a very easy quest. You get 500 XP for that? Oh my goodness. All right. The one thing I'm happy about in this game that I can't say for a lot of games is the fact that you never feel under leveled or anything. It doesn't like Require you to like do a bunch of side stuff to do the next mission, you know? Behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. I feel like I shouldn't be using the chuckaboo right here. <laughs> what are these? Surrounded. Uh oh, hold on. I'm surrounded, huh? All right. Bring everybody together. In that direction! Big damage. Let's go. I don't know if it's just this area, but the most basic combat I'm getting like a ton of XP for. I'm all for it though. Alright, here we go. I would use a Chuckabo again, but it seems kind of pointless since we're so close.
So this is the Mechis. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Five? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrain. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh.
Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> hmm. Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Man, look at the visuals. That is insane. I love how many like cutscenes we get to watch. I almost feel like I'm watching a movie with everybody on my channel. It's kind of cool. Like I'll play for a little bit, and then it's just like, all right, time to sit back and watch. I remember early on when I started YouTube. I remember trading the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Truth's side. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. I don't want to fight you. I'm sorry. Fly, Ambrosia. But I remember when uh, a lot of people told me like they really were happy that I didn't talk during cutscenes. That's kind of been like a theme for a while. I was like... I didn't know people would talk over a cutscene. It seems kind of odd, you know? But I try to just, like, stop talking. <laughs> One of my overall goals when I first started YouTube was to... And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the Crystal's blessing. A lot of it was to make friends that kind of have the same interests, but also, on top of that, not be annoying. That was my goal. Whether or not I succeeded, I don't know. I just can't get over how good this game looks. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here. The markets. What kind of vendors we got here? 
This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. I had somebody comment telling me to spend my, uh... Look at Obelisk activated. Nice. Let me see something really quick. I mean, I know I got... Yeah, I got a lot of points. My goodness. I should probably upgrade one of these. If anything, I don't know. What would I even upgrade? I, I could also just buy this. That way I have... If I ever want to switch back to it, I'll at least have that, you know? And maybe that's actually a good strat to use. I don't know. Um... The lunge, maybe a little bit better. Precision dodge. I mean, are these even worth upgrading? I don't know. I think I just like going after the major abilities. Here's what I'll do. Just so I can spend some of this. If I ever go back to this, I at least want to have Judgment Bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I'll save the other thousand. Oh, let's check the uh, vendor. Hold on. Out of my sight, wretch. Well met. Enhancer? Alright. I guess I'll top off my potion there. A fine choice. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy both elixirs. Actually, I'm gonna buy one. That way, if I find one, I can still hold on to it. I haven't Many seen one in the things. wild yet. 10,000 is a lot. I don't want to use it unless I absolutely have to. I'm talking like... I don't even have it on shortcuts just in case I accidentally use it. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. Taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar. Here we go. I'll take the large one. <laughs> oh, good. There you are. Clive, I I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sounds got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm going to check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. How about each area we've been to in this adventure has just been, like, completely different from each other, you know? It's either really dark, or it's like a desert, or now it's this. Very awesome.
Oh, wait. Let me get this. What we got? Nice. Say, go back this way. Hold on. Did I miss somebody? Up here has got to be, right? No? Leave some for the rest of us. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's been made. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little Ben could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Ben, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion Goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um... Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Crimson Collar. Nice. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. 
I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. All right, to catch a thief. Here we go. Out of my sight, wretch. I should probably. Well, I think use the check ball right here. Yeah, you can't. Okay, but <laughs> just making sure. Jug of snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to the check. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger ran by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. You won't find anything of this. Like a lot, this has probably been the most chill episode of this game I've had so far. Not a lot has happened. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Here's what I find funny is to speak to the children. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. It's like, why does it make you guess where everybody is, you know? Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Let's just see how many children there are. Here's another one. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Yeah, sorry. I'll leave you alone. Say it's back this way. Okay. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet. Then we gotta go further back this way if I had to guess. Here we go. Excuse me. What do you want? I I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. 
But my friend, Honza, he... he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. All right. I'll wait. Hang on. It's been a while. It has been a minute. <laughs> I do that with Chubbs and Bosco sometimes. That's my dogs, by the way, if you don't. See, this is like brand new to you. Uh, but I take time out of the day, every single day, and just get on the floor with them and just like pet them. Because their entire life is your life, kind of, you know? They're only here for what, like 15 years at max? Give them the best life they can possibly she have. have All right, here we go. Camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. I feel like these side... This feels like a side mission, kind of, but I know that it's going to tie to the main story, but once we get out of this section, it's going to be something epic, I bet. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Wait, what? Uh, hold on. Oh, shit. Cornered. It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? themselves the car stones they said they'd give me good gill if i did what they told me i knew they were bad but it doesn't come for free didn't come at all half the time before i started buzzing for them you know if i didn't do it they'd just pick on someone else someone they could push around easier Hunter. you found him then jill where are the other two eloise is watching over them she sent goots and i to look for you you're... him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not. Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? <laughs> Must it feel? Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. 
Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Barclad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. All right, to catch a thief, how much we got? 350. So that's her brother. All right. Uh, meteorite. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones, and we crush them. You get your traders pass back, and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right, then. All right, then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. All right, we're recording for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. I love you all. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for all the likes and support on each video. It means a lot to me. It's been an amazing series. So, all right, love you all. Take it easy.